to cut. Ah. It's a tri-lane bottom. Okay. So tri-lane, very interesting. Yeah. As Nightfall actually is going to TP out. He's cutting Oops. with the wolves. Uh, he TPs to the tier one tower again, or the tier two, I guess. Yeah. Get back into the lane. And we're going to see first blood from Arteezy thanks to this tri lane. So it actually pays off pretty much immediately. And now they're going to disperse it with crit going to the top lane to accompany Nightfall. Kill. And you can see Arteezy off to a pretty good start. Top of the CS charts right now at 18 and 7. And the counterpart in Monet, 13 and 11. So a lot of denies for Monet. Obviously, they've been pulling a lot. And Saying Abed, he's gone real deep. Ori looks to be dead. The fair fight not able to keep him alive, and a nice sidestep by Abed, keeping him outside the arms of Baboka. You can see Siamese Cat is pursuing as well. Abed looks to be dead though. Baboka will get credit for that one. But Damn. a really nice solo kill from Abed. Yeah, that's that's bad versus Razor. I mean, Razor one v one solo. Like, of course Razor's gonna out CS a bat. Bat's damage is atrocious. He really needs levels, but. The kill threat is always there until Razor gets BKB and it takes a long time. And Poison Touch in the top lane, Nightfall getting gone on. No team. Dagger there as well. You can see the Desolate damage is really adding up. He is just slowed to a crawl. They're looking to give the last hit to Monet. And he will get it quite easily. And Baboka on the other side of the lane here. Looks to be taken out, uh, this time by Arteezy. But that's one of those few times you see the punish of Lycan not going boots, which... This is a catapult wave. Looks like Abed wants to dive a bit here. A lot of the Radiant creeps are already taken out, but he's going to fortify just a little bit longer. As Nightfall again getting gone on, and just absolutely slow to a crawl. Arteezy getting gone on in the bot lane, though. As you see the vacuum back into the fray, it looks like Arteezy is going to die. Along with Nightfall, who is just so freaking slow, might as well be sheeped at this point. And two cores dead for EG. Has been killed. Rethinking those boots, Jenkins. I'm rethinking yeah. those boots. Uh, I mean, he could TP too. It's just that he wants to be a lot. He wants the TP to be up for when he dies and respawns and comes back yeah. to this top lane. Not bad. Getting off a nice flame break. Does have the lasso, but XXS looks mega dead right here with several sticky napalm stacks on top of him. Baboka looking for collateral on the crit, but he's not going to find it. So a nice cleanup here from EG. Abed is the one doing That's extremely well. Obviously, Arteezy still top net worth despite that death. Uh, but really, the story is again Nightfall done. And uh, Arteezy's doing, pr doing pretty well too. Yep. You can see Arteezy's made his way to the mid lane to help take out this tier one tower, but they're going to get backstabbed here from Aster, the poison touch to start things out. Baboka with the roll in. Ori is here as well with the static link. Arteezy is mega dead. Obviously, Fly not even level six yet, so can't curse. We see the last one from Abed trying to get some collateral kill here onto Ori. Gets grave for the time being. He's actually doing a lot of damage, but he won't find the kill onto Abed. You can see another earn charge applied by Baboka. So one for one to start, but finally Baboka gets his revenge onto Abed. We'll see if they can get one on crit as well. So this is turning out really nicely for Aster overall as the snowball comes in, but just delays the inevitable. And again, a heal comes out on a crit, but he is likely to fall none nonetheless. So it ends up being a two for one. Make it a three for one. A beautiful roll from Baboka. Very nicely played from this Earth Spirit. Baboka in that fight was doing something really cool where he was doing nothing. He was standing on the high ground to, to rolling in that Abed had nowhere to go. We see a smoke now from EG, who again, like we're exiting the laning stage. 2k deficit, something we're not used to seeing. Ori, again, a nice fat stack here, but here comes the snowball. Flame break fall. You can see the TP's coming in, but Nightfall with that ult available to him end up taking out Ori again. That is going to be his, is that his third death? Yes, his third death of the game. So he is the one struggling for Aster, while EG... It's been Nightfall, but with that ult now, and the tomato creep, Sprout going to help them out. Looks like Siamese Cat's going to drop as well. And see if they can get the Tier 1 tower in addition. Yeah, he TP from top to try to help. Oh my god, did the tomato yeah. get all those creeps? I think the tomato stole like, all those creeps. <laughs> may have been a time <laughs> We just saw. Very unfortunate, Abed. Getting some continual sticky napalm stacks. This fly still not level six. He's gonna need that tome. He's dead. Abed looks to be mega dead, but there's a cold embrace. Crit trying to split some damage here. They're gonna lose Abed and Crit will likely fall next. But Boca does end up dropping, so it's a two for one. Better than it could have been, although Ori ends up dying to Arteezy. He just keeps dying over and over. That's the fourth death for him. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh 
What? I'm sure Quelling can upgrade to something. That has happened before. It has happened before. Well, I'm not on a range here. No. <laughs> but the, 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 you need Valkyrie plus phase boost. Oh, I'm over the flame break. Can't quite find the distance. He's going to get Spectral Dagger. Attempting to TP out, but the vacuum will cancel it. So Aster again going to find the kill onto Abed. Looks like Monet gets credit for that one. Crit continually getting charged on uh, with this no. this urn as Baboka finishes him off. So a two for nothing. Aster is just all over the place. And I feel like, not to put anything on Ori here, but outside the about Spectre's build here in just a moment, it's Abed, Flame Break. Ori gets off the, the Illusion Rune, I believe, but he's still going to find the real one with the Lasso. And Nightfall's in the area as well in that Lycan form. Looking to finish off Ori, but he's got a big static link. He's going to get Surge and Grave. So he is more than fine. Abed on the cliff, and he is dead. So EG completely punished for this. As Crit getting chased down now by Ori with all that massive damage that he accumulated in this fight. Fly's TP canceled. So Aster coming out way on top in this fight. A three for nothing. And this isn't a game that EG is supposed to be running down towers. To the Siamese cat instead, he graves himself. And is that actually going to be enough to live? <laughs> He's getting blocked by his own creeps, and Arteezy has to end the pursuit. Now Abe getting rolled in and kicked back into the fray. Ori with a nice plasma field. There's the cold embrace to try to save Abe for the time being. But there's the big curse, a huge vacuum into essentially nothing, though. Waller's punch comes out. They've already lost Baboka along with Siamese Cat. So it's a two for nothing. And XXS falls to Abe as well. And Abed somehow staying alive throughout all of this. They have lost Arteezy, though, as Crit and company looking to potentially reset a nice sidestep there as Boboka flies off the map. Abed continuing to pursue. But Boboka a lot recently, going for the Tranquil Boots and Drum of Endurance. Makes him very tanky, super active early. Uh, means that he's less of, like, some crazy farming split-pushing hero, but he's very powerful. Oh, we're gonna have another fight, man. This is a big brawling game for sure. As a huge punch in the air as Fly gets credit for the kill onto Baboka. Arteezy, he's the one actually segregated from his team a little bit here. Cold Embrace is gonna save him for the time being, but he's getting static linked. And you can see Ori, he has to be careful though. He's very low HP as Nightfall is continue to right click it, but there's the Grave along with the BKB. Can he get the distance? The Snowball is coming in from the outside. Not gonna connect as Crit now puts himself in a little bit of a precarious spot. But it looks like on Baboka. Oh, doggy. All right, so Earth Spirit not going to be so easy to take out, but there he does get off the BKB, but the lasso obviously goes through it. He's taking a lot of damage. It's a huge back wall on the entirety of EG. We'll see how much damage this does in the end as Arteez is kind of ignoring it for now. And they're going to be able to find Baboka despite having that BKB. Crit looks to be relatively dead, he's going to get Cold Embrace for the time being. Or he gets off the static on Arteez, attempting to TP out. He'll be successful. He's back home. Fly and Nightfall look to be just fine as well as Crit actually doing a ton of damage to Ori. Flame Break keeping him quite low, but the Grave ends up saving him for the time being as well. Abed blinks in. He really wants this kill onto Ori. Apparently five deaths isn't enough. A nice vacuum though. And we can see the next Roche will be up in 30 seconds. As already four Boots of Bearing charges have been, actually probably more than that because they do refresh. Fly looks to be dead. Get off another cold embrace. It's a roll in there. Not really going to do much. So they will lose fly, but he technically has buyback if he wanted to use it for like a Roche fight. But as we see, Roche still another 15 seconds. So let's so see. Okay, the buyback comes through. Lasso is there. And they're going to be able to take on XSS to start this fight. And Ori absolutely getting shredded by Lycan. And the Sprout actually keeping him alive a little bit with that grave. He's going to TP back to base. Looks like the Dazzle drops instead, so it's a two for nothing in favor of EG. Monet gets glimmered. And I believe the Roche Pit is what EG has their sights on now. EG's not really been focusing on Dazzle at all. Siamese Cat has been getting away scot free, but both has been the focus for them. Yep, that is true. They did deward that uh, deep ward, of course. It was, it was pretty obvious that's how they got their initiation off, so. Doing that again for EG is going to be quite difficult as I say that. He gets destroyed. Oh, Big back wall though. Everybody inside these illusions. But the curse to try to counteract it. XSS is getting extremely low. It's going to get graved up. You can see Fly getting low as well. It's going to be a one for two to start things out. Arteezy dies, but that's just the Aegis. Nightfall trying to reset. Has his Triceratops at his ready. Monet looks like he's going to get dropped. A double kill for Nightfall. All right, he's got the spider like does Or, so that's one way to get out of these sprout leashes. But another god to your back wall, but nothing still come out on top. <laughs> I mean, it is 
it's showing that it's, it's exciting, good, but it's yeah. not, it doesn't synergize necessarily. As we're going to see the fight on the other side here now, focusing again on Boboka. He's going to get saved, though. Nightfall continue to try to right-click him. He's going to get the bash, but he's not going to continue on. Boboka will be able to roll away, and he actually dies to Abed's flame break, I believe, as Arteza pops the BKB, continue to right-click inside this wall, kind of ignoring it for the most part as Ori looking to finish somebody off on the sideline. They're only going to lose Abed. He's going to buy back in the game, along with Arteza. Will he buy back is the question. Likely not going to happen because Roche is not going to be up anytime soon. We'll see how much Aster can actually get out of this fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Gabe and Snector. Man. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Net worth very even. EG. I mean, I think they got the rain tracks in the top lane at some point. Crick going to get gone on here. Nice initiation from Aster. And they're going to take out Fly as well, which is their main save. And Nightfall getting pushed out of the triangle. He's got to pop his ult. Looks like he's fine. All right, full team smoke from EG. Got the Triceratops ready to go. Nightfall Radiant has had the Basher for a while. What is his next item, though? Is it going to be an Abyssal? Indeed, it will be. As we're going to see the last one initiation. This time it's going to be on the, the Darks here, but he gets off the vacuum with no wall to follow quite yet. A big flame break as Arteezy kind of stuck inside the wall. Has to pop his BKB as Monet continuing to focus him down. Arteezy's dead. No buyback available. Double kill for Ori as EG are falling apart in this fight. They did buy back on the fly. But they've lost their most important hero in Arteezy's nature. Yeah, cred. Boboka, very rare roll miss we see going on here. Nightfall getting chased. Ori is just as fast as a wolf, for God's sake. Has to apply the Abyssal Blade and run away. But Ori's going to continue on. Gets the Plasma Field off. They're going to see him in the trees. They're going to take him out. He actually kept up with the damn wolf, for God's sake. EG definitely on the back foot now as Aster. No damage applied, pretty much. They have the Aegis, they have the Cheese, they have the Refresher Shard, and now they can push any... This second set of racks as Arteezy getting gone on. The Curse comes through, and it's going to save him for the time being. He gets off and looks like a Satanic on him, but the Andus is going to proxy not a lot of damage to follow up with. Do you see the wall? Ori taking a ton of damage. It looks like he might fall, but he's going to get some extra regen coming in as well from his Satanic. And Crit's going to take a tumble as a result. Hobbit dies in his fountain to a Spectral Dagger. And Monet and company look primed and ready to take this 2-0 against EG. Dude, Monet has a moon shard on Spectre. Pretty good. Like, that is how fat he is in this game. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to pick up a moon shard. I'm not going to die. Yeah, now focusing on the tier 4 towers. EG with a last stand here, but they're going to go on top he's of Arteezy, and he's dead right off the bat. GG's called an Aster. Man, they look very good. I got to say, Shandon, that was a that was a that was a pretty long game. It still didn't last as long as that pause. Well, it was <laughs> yeah. And lichen, so it's very much like if you don't if you can crumble, you just can't collapse. Mm -hmm. Like you know, there were I mean, you know there's is pretty good. <laughs> 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 Got him. Sorry, yeah. Kinda. <laughs> you know, there there were some leaks and stuff. Like they were they were losing some fights, but as long as they just didn't like completely get overran and they you know as long as they stay close. Eventually, this Spectre is going to come online. Like yeah. it, when he got that Scotty plus the Agnum Scepter, it just felt like there was a certain point where Monet just became too big to kind of deal with. And mm -hmm. I think Aster showed they can kind of play this patient solid Dota. All right. Yeah. If you want to add something? Yeah. No, I just want to say, you know, that yeah. Bo Bokers, man, hey, he's busier than a one legged man at an ass kicking competition. I mean, that Earth Spirit was all over the goddamn <laughs> place. I've never so seen true. anything like it before in my life. That Team Aster, they're coming out. You mean Boboka, Boboka, the Earth Spirit spammer, Boboka, Boboka of 209 Boboka? Earth Spirit games? That Boboka? Yeah, that Boboka. That Boboka. That Boboka right there, Natty. <laughs> that Boboka is right. But it was enough for Aster.